Good morning and welcome. It's Jolly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another little pour. I'm going over a used canvas. Uh, I did this pour on a canvas that was for a test pour, testing colours and technique. So now um, I was happy with the result of of the test I did so I will try that particular test a uh, pour on a bigger canvas but I've just taken most of the colour off and reused this canvas for another test so um, yeah just bear with me they're all sort of a hodgepodge of paints they're some boom gel paints some Montmartre paints uh, it's just what I have left over so I'm just having kind of an art lab day just testing techniques for hopefully doing a bigger pour on a um, bigger canvas so I'll test out the, the techniques on these particular canvases and um, well that's what I'm doing today anyway so yeah thanks so much for being with me joining me thank you so Thank you for subscribing to my channel. It's truly appreciated. Um, and yeah, coming on this crazy art journey with me. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just pouring, this is the Montmartre. And I, if I remember rightly, it was mixed with the uh, PVA glue and water. My pouring medium and description of how to do it is in the drop down box also that you will find a link there to beginners videos so anybody asking any questions wanting to know how to mix the paints or what so on and so forth is all in the drop down box underneath my videos okay so that is the Montmartre purple I am going to do a little sort of this was leftover paints that I'd prepared very thinly to do the Dutch pour so I'm not sure how they're going to work out doing this particular pour so we will see won't we just doing a band I just want a band I want to leave leave some negative space Nobody believes me when I say that because I find it very hard to leave negative space because I'm a kind of all or nothing kind of woman, woman, woman. Okay, so that was the boom gel in the flame red. The boom gel is a pre-made pouring, a pre-made paint, uh, particularly for doing the bloom type effects. But of course, I've been trying it in all different types of um, paints, not just the uh, not just the bloom effects. So these are all kind of leftovers. This was a bit of leftover the color effects by Plaid. So it's got like color shift in it. So this will be interesting. Now. I was going to do a swipe, but I'm thinking that no, I should actually just blow it with my mouth and then do my teeny tiny balloon kisses. So this is just white and I'm just putting some in there. It's got all those delicious, lovely, bright colours, which you all know I absolutely love. So it's not that much paint that you use on these type of pores. So very good for somebody that wants to work minimalistic, somebody that's on a budget. They, you're not using much paint, so it's all good. Good, good. And what I'm going to do, if I can find it, just my piece of plastic. And I am going to, I've got this... Oh, that, that was the Montmartre white. This is a little bit of the Boom Gel white that I must have mixed previous. I'm going to add a bit of the Boom Booster in the white, which are two drops of Boom Booster. This Boom Booster is by the same people that make the Boom Gel stain, 
and it is not silicon I'm told it's alcohol based so from what I understand you wouldn't have to worry about trying to you know get it off before you varnish or or um, resin your piece because it's alcohol based so if anybody knows any different please let me know but that's what I believe so I might I was thinking of kind of let's try this going down this way against the grain but first of all I want to just blow a bit of softness Turn it around, bit of softness. Well, it's so not me softness, is it? <laughs> okay, weird weird but I'm going to stick with it just let me see how I go where's my little bit of plastic here it is it's it is that paint on it is dry so it's just a bit of cut off soft plastic file divider um, very useful for swiping because you can um, just wash it and reuse it and reuse it Ooh, ooh, look at that I'm happy that I blew those out to soften it before I did that but look at those cells popping up and those colors wow gorgeous what I'm going to do with this particular piece I'm going to leave it for maybe 20 minutes I'm going to allow the paint to absorb into the canvas it self levels as well when you do give it that bit of time and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to use my baby water balloon to create some lovely soft petal effects so see you in a jiffy okay it's only been maybe 10 minutes that i've left this little piece so in that meantime i just got an ordinary everyday balloon which you can get off the capriole shabby chic site if you're in australia um along with your other order or if you're in anywhere else they're pretty easy to get balloons so I just put it over my water tap and just put a little bit of water in the ordinary everyday balloon so that use they usually last me like donkey's years like ages unless I spring a leak which you know when you spring a leak it's a bit of a problem when you're doing painting so okay this little water balloon is a great little tool in your acrylic pouring arsenal because it can add some wonderful effects it doesn't always have to look like a petal effects it just helps it's like drawing with a balloon so this is nice and weighted because of that bit of water in it so it's just basically push your oops I've got a wonky a wonky leg not literally but on my camera so creates these gorgeous little flower effects in your canvas done this particular way so that is bringing out the softness I like it I like it I like it give this a go people if you haven't because it is fun and you think look at that effect that I can get with that balloon I know lots of people say they they think oh that's easy and they give it a go and then they find that it's not as easy or some people it just works out but it is really all to do with your paint consistency and type of paint you're using I believe so that is lovely and you will see when I do the close-ups what detail the balloon gives to your artwork so give it a go have a try because it's very very pleasurable should I say it's art therapy it gives you therapy at a discount cost so 
I'm rambling on. Oh my goodness, I better change me. I'm just going over this a bit to get rid of any little holes there. I didn't put any heat on this one either, did I? So I might just give it a blast with my... Oh, go away, fly. With my heat embossing gun, you can either use your butane torch, but if you're not very confident with butane and you have not got a fire extinguisher, please don't use it because your butane torch is quite a dangerous tool and you need to have fire extinguisher handy and you need to not be frightened of your butane. So easy peasy is this heat embossing gun. It's not like um, it's used for card making, I believe, like emboss embossing. So far less dangerous. And I'm just getting rid of some of the air bubbles. And I love that little piece. I just love it. Look at that. That would look so effective on a great big long canvas. The colours are just popping out of, of the canvas. It's lovely. Please, thanks for joining me, guys. In a weird mood today. Um, but anyway, <laughs> it's... Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying my day. I'm enjoying. I hope you're enjoying your day too. Thank you so much for the lovely comments. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you again tomorrow. So bye for now.